Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a general message for you. We're going to find out what Spirit wants you to know. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone, okay? So let's get straight into this and find out what Spirit wants you to hear, what Spirit wants you to know. Okay, um, so I definitely see that you seem to be in a really good place, okay? You seem to be really happy here, okay? Like, just thriving, right? Things are happening, um, new beginnings are coming in, things are going to the next level, okay? Um, I am getting a lot of good things are happening here around you, right? But then I see over here, okay, with the Seven of Swords here, the Ten of Cups, uh, sorry, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, uh, King of Cups in reverse, and the Devil card, okay. Um, so I'm getting this energy here, right, where somebody here sees you and they see that you're happy, they see that you're thriving, they see that basically everything in your life is good. Um, and something about this person doesn't like that. I do see them... It's like an energy I'm feeling where this is somebody, if you're... If you're in a relationship or if you're seeing somebody or if you're just happy where you're at, Somebody may come in and manipulate you here into this is like somebody coming off loving, but it's really they're trying to manipulate you, they're trying to do something here to you behind your back, um, to get at your happiness. I don't like that energy. This person is like studying you, okay? Um, this is somebody that really has a lot of interest in you, right? I do see it being a masculine energy. I see it, um, see this energy here coming off as somebody that's really friendly, okay? Somebody that's very charming. You may trust this person. I'm hearing hidden agenda, so they have some type of hidden agenda here, and they, this person's competitive, right, and they feel like they want to compete with you, they also feel like they want to cause conflict in your life, but again, it's like, this is like somebody pretending to be close to you, but doing things behind your back to cause you conflict. I do see for some of you, this may not resonate for everyone, but I do see for some of you, if you, it's like this person trying to get at your happiness. If you're in a relationship, they may want to break your relationship up and they may be trying to put some type of spell here on your relationship. If it's not a relationship, it could be like a career right? It's just something that makes you really happy, that you're really content with. For some reason, this person doesn't like it, okay? This person is weirdly invested in you, okay? Um, but I do see they don't really, like, it's like they keep themselves away from you, but they're weirdly invested. They keep tabs on you, um,
I am getting, um, this person, like, wanted to, like, work with you or something, and I'm getting you may not have wanted to work with them, or this could be, like, maybe they wanted a relationship with you, and they feel like you didn't want a relationship with them, um, this is them wanting to take things to the next level, but they're doing this in a really complicated way where it's like instead of communicating with you they're trying to do some type of spell here to ruin like some connection in your life I am seeing that this person, this may not resonate for everyone, so, so like don't stress, but I am seeing this person try to do something here where they try to break some connection up via spell work. This is literally spell work, okay? Um, but it bounced back on them and it's like a connection in their life. A connection in their life like ended right somebody walked away from them because it was like they were trying to get you you to walk away from somebody or somebody to walk away from you but then it bounced back and it happened to them right um I am also seeing that it may have happened like it bounced back to them right and it may have happened to like a you know relationship around them or it may have been the relationship with you and them that got cut off right um i do see you being highly protected this person's confused right i do see them trying to um they're confused because they're trying to like do some type of spell work but the thing is they don't understand that it's bouncing back to them i don't think they realize that's what's happening Yeah, because they continuously are going through conflict, right? Um, and then this is somebody that continuously tried to put spells on you or something, or again, not going to resonate for everyone, but that's what I'm seeing here. They continuously try, but it does not work, right? This could be somebody that like pays different people, okay? Because I do see them trying to hit a relationship, okay? They're trying to hit your money for some of them, right? They want to like isolate you. I'm not getting... I am getting this could be a masculine energy as well. Um, and somebody that sort of feels rejected by you in a way. Yeah, again, I'm getting they may feel rejected by you. Like, they may have had feelings for you and tried to come at you and then felt rejected by you and then they tried to do some type of sneaky spell work, okay? Um, for some of, some of you, I see that you were in, like, some type of, like, relationship when you met this person and it's like they wanted... A connection with you so they try to do some type of spell work here to end the connection that you're in but it didn't really work out for them I'm hearing the name Emily What the hell? This person's mad. They're mad because they feel like you cut them off or something, or like maybe you like literally ended a connection with them, maybe you don't speak to them, go to them. They're mad at you. 
they really frustrated. Like I'm telling you guys, they're they're mad, okay? They're mad. Um This is them continuously trying to attempt black magic on you and failing. And then it goes back to them and things just keep happening to them, right? Don't like seeing the devil card with the justice um, in reverse, okay? But it does clarify what I've been saying about this weird um, spell work. This person wants to slow you down, right? Um, again, you're a very powerful person, I, I can see. Um, but they want to slow you down. But they keep getting bad karma. Because instead of slowing you down, they're slowing themselves down because you're protected here. I'm hearing strong spirit guides. Like you have strong people around you protecting you. This is confusing because um, I've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in the middle. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this could be your divine counterpart, okay? Or maybe this is like somebody that like that you're in a connection with that you're married to or something or somebody that wants to be with you they also want to slow you down um this is like this person I'm getting that they, they don't communicate much with you, but they do concentrate a lot on you, right? You're dealing with a dark person, okay? Um, yeah, a very dark person that... Again, with the High Priestess in reverse, right? Clarified by the King of Swords that he's giving me like using black magic, okay? Um, in a very harsh way as well. With the Nine of Cups here, and then clarified by the Nine of Cups in reverse, I see this person seeing you as being very happy, being very content where you are, um, and them wanting to come in and ruin that I'm getting this is somebody from your past right that's unable to get over you or this connection with you I'm getting that you don't speak to this person anymore but they're unable to get over this connection right
They feel like something in the way. Something in the way here, okay? And they feel like, um... I'm getting that's what they're trying to hit here, right? With the spell work. Whatever's in the way of them getting to you, if this is a love connection, right? Um, if this is not a love connection, this person... It's like you may have cut them off and they just they just want to hit you in all areas. They just Yeah. Oh my god guys. Like I'm telling you. I'm hearing the name Oscar. Uh, uh, this person, it's like, it's this love-hate thing because they seem to really love you and, but there's also this, it's like, if I, you know, can't have you, then they want to like ruin your life and, or if they can't be in contact with you, they want to ruin your life. I'm hearing that song from Katy Perry, um, Dark Horse, right? Interesting. Um, so this is either somebody that Whoever they are, they look at you on a very high regard, but they want to either drag you down or, again, this is something where this person's really, like, manipulative, okay? Um, could be dealing with... Could be dealing with Scorpio, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Cancer, Taurus. Um, Is this somebody like with the Ten of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed? Is this somebody that feels like like you didn't choose them or you chose somebody else? Okay, over them and you think them being very selfish and trying every way possible to ruin your happiness here. All this connection, right? Like, I definitely see you being happy in some type of connection and them wanting to ruin it. I'm hearing trickery. Again, this is somebody that feels like you either abandoned them or you didn't choose them. And that is really getting at their, that really, like, I don't know, you like hurt their ego here. This person is like trying to get payback. Yeah, mm. again, this person feels like you didn't choose them, and now they're being really selfish, and again, they're definitely having poor judgment here. And that's about, it's like, they're looking at, they're not seeing things straight, basically, how they really are, they're just feeling rejected by you, um, 
And again, this person wants to get some type of payback. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope this resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next reading. Bye.